Hello, <laughs> it's the third time I'm recording this. Let's hope that this one will be good. Um, so today I want to show how to connect an oscilloscope to the to control it from a computer. So my oscilloscope, which is a Rigol DS something, uh, is connected to the local network through an, a LAN cable. And then I installed this library from Philip Klaus, which is a very nice library. It's called DS1054Z, uh, which is actually the name of my oscilloscope. If we go back here, this is the, the library. So uh, we have also to thank all of these people for taking the time to develop this. So as you can see, we, we have a signal on the oscilloscope. And what we can do after installing, so it's just a pip install. After installing it, we can first, for example, take a screenshot using this command. This is the local IP address of my oscilloscope, which I got from um, my router. So if I click on this, up we can get we will get the screenshot here. So it's a, a screenshot of the screen of the oscilloscope, which is crazy. Or even better, what we can do is to use it in a Python script. For example, in this case, you just import the library, you create an object scope, you give it uh, the IP address to connect to, and then you can print stuff you can change settings for example here is the documentation for for this so you get to here through here where is it no where is it here and in here for example in my case i can display the maximum voltage of the channel one how do I know that channel one is written like this? I use display channel and it displayed channel one. Uh, you can see it here. Where is it? Here. And then I can also get waveform samples of channel one and plot it with matplotlib and look at how crazy this is. This was not what I wanted to do. Crazy. We get the data in Python that we can post process. So I don't know if I said it this time, but the idea is to have automated unit testing for hardware development. Uh, so this time, so this way you can, can have a signal generator generating a signal and then an oscilloscope getting the results and you can compare them. Voila. It doesn't work through the USB interface because there is a bug in the firmware, but it works. I did very well uh, from the LAN interface. I didn't change anything. It worked out of the box. Maybe I will show you the settings. I don't know if I can. Oh, here. The LAN setting. Oh, you can actually get the IP address from here. Here you can, you can see the LAN settings. And I don't know, you cannot read them. Okay, I hope that this is clear. Oh, I can do better. This is how stupid am I? I can take a screenshot 
and show it here. So here is how, how I took a screenshot. And here. Yes, of course. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you. Bye.